Today I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing George Glazier of Western Uranium and Vanadium. How are you today, George? Good, Tracy. Good to see you. So, George, here at PDAC right now, you're one of the few stocks that actually made people money last year. Can you tell us what made Western Uranium and Vanadium different from any of your competitors? Well, obviously it's our Vanadium content. Vanadium was the hottest commodity last year, as you know. It went from $10 to over $30. And we've got a large, uh, high-grade vanadium resource. So I, I credit most of it to the fact that we were in the right commodity at the right time. So many of our readers are, have been following the Sunday Mine Complex. We're very excited about the, the progress towards production. Can you tell us what's happening? Well, and we had an announcement late last year that we were going to open the mine primarily to sample and send samples to a number of vanadium customers. We're still on track to do that. Obviously, vanadium prices dropped. Uh, the best time to open a mine uh, is in the spring. Uh, we're working on that, so I, I would say within the next several months, we'll see the opening and the beginning of the process, first to sample and then to define the high-grade vanadium resource that was left without mining the uranium. And of course, we at Investor Intel at PDAC this week are trying to bring in new cannabis investors. We're trying to get you to diversify your port portfolio and draw you to new industry sectors like uranium and vanadium. So would you mind giving our uh, audience kind of a 10-story overview about your competitiveness and include how you're based in North America? Yeah, we're, we're, all of our assets are in North America, of course, in the U.S., Western United States. We've got the highest grade vanadium probably in the world. Uh, that's why we've got a competitive advantage. Grades everything, and no matter what commodity you're in, if you've got the grades, you've got the low cost. And that's what we've got, certainly in vanadium. With uranium, we've got the technology, uh, which makes us the low cost producer. So again, it's the, it's the issue of your grades and your technology that drive your cost to the lower per, uh, percentage of your competitors. And that's where we are. And of course, you know, we've got the clean tech sector with both the uranium, uh, the green energy and vanadium. But there is a little bit of confusion out there, I think, with the extraction process of vanadium out of uranium. Well, in the Sunday mine, there's uranium and vanadium in the same rock, but there's also areas that have only vanadium. We've been sampling some of the, the, the samples we took years ago, and we find that it's very high grade vanadium and virtually no uranium. Uh, there is uranium with the vanadium, but it's not an extraction problem. You can extract both of them. You can take the vanadium out first and leave the uranium, or you can do it the other way around. So it just depends on which one you extract first. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in this, in this next uh, quarter or two? Well, I, I think you ought to be looking at our press releases on our progress at the Sunday mine. You know, it's going to come slowly. We've got samples going out to a number of companies around the world. We'll get results back for them, you know, and then an offtake contract. If we can get the offtake contract, the Sunday mine goes into production. Fantastic. So nice to see you, George. Good to see you, Tracy. Thank you.